Hi, Jessica. Hey, okay, there, I'm here. <laughs> hey, 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 how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, Thanks good. for doing this, I really appreciate it. No, you're so, so welcome. Are you, on a, are you on a cell phone or on a computer? Yeah, I did, I had just was leaving an appointment, so that's why I had to, I'm not in front of my computer now, I didn't know if I could do this or not, I was trying to get home. No, you can, yeah. it, what, how long will it take you to get home? Um, probably like 30 minutes, just, yeah, I have had an inspection, so. Gotcha, are you? a lot longer, but I'm about to um, park. Um, and Why don't you get a... home? Why don't you get home and get onto a computer? Because it might be better to view it on a computer. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just share my screen and just walk you through a bunch of like simple things you can do. But normally it's better on a computer. I think I can see it. I'm going to take notes and stuff. I think I'll be okay. Okay, cool. Cool, right on. If not, then, yeah, but I'm, yeah, I got my notes. I feel like I'm not that big of a, like a, you know, computer illiterate to do this. I just don't know what's going on, but all right. Yeah, I'm going to kind of just break it down and, and, and it's really coming from just analyzing and seeing what thousands of agents do on social media. Um, Cause I have a background in marketing. Like I have just been doing this forever, just social media, online marketing. I've been doing that since 1999. So I've just been, um, and then I, and then in 2010 is when I became a lender. So I was in the mortgage industry from 2010 to 2016 here in San Diego. So I just, I just got a chance to, to meet a ton of realtors. And then I just, I just knew that the majority of them weren't leveraging social media. So it was in, it was in 2016 when I left mortgages and started consulting real estate agents on marketing online. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So since 2016, and if you look at my, can you see my, my page over here? My, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So when you look at, when you look at this friend count, like my friend list is public, like you can look at all my friends, but it was in 2016 when I, when I, I've been on Facebook forever, but it was in 2016 when I kicked right. off all of my real friends, like my, like friends I went to school with, like my actual family, like my in-laws, my brother, my own mother, like my, my cousins. In 2016, I started moving every single real friend off of Facebook and put, and I put them on my Instagram because my whole, my whole strategy was to fill up my friend list with 5,000 agents. So that happened in 2016. So when you look at my friend list, every single one of them, Jess, every single one of them, except for one, which is Melina. That's my wife. This is my wife right here. Okay. She's the only one on this 5,000 count who's not an agent. And so oh, wow. that started in 2016. So since 2016, the reason why I'm going to be able to really give you a crash course on all this social media marketing is because since 2016, I've been seeing what thousands of agents are doing when it comes to marketing their business. And I, and I see it by the thousands. I see what they're doing. I see what they're not doing. And I'm just here to tell you by looking at everything and thousands of people for the past few years, 100% of you guys miss the basics. Like this stuff is basic, but I just truly yeah. most overwhelm themselves, most complicate it. And most think it's more confusing than, than, than it is. And it's basic. And so in 2018 is when I ended up writing a book about this, um, the social real estate agent.com. I ended up writing a book about this and boiling, boiling it down to five simple steps. And so when you sent me an invite to like your business page, that's what I call step two. And, and I'll kind of show you how to, how, all about that, that Facebook ad. But um, it kind of starts with this page over here. It kind of starts with step one because this personal page, even though you have a business page, this page here is, is, is more important than you can, than, than you probably think, because this is where you're connecting with everyone. Like you're becoming, exactly. people, yeah. right. So yeah. whether you're meeting people virtually like you and I are meeting or whether you're meeting someone at a local restaurant and this is someone that you've never met before. Like, let's just say you're having lunch with your girlfriends and, and you just ran into some random people at, at the restaurant and you meet these people for the first time and you've never met them before. But because you're a realtor and because you're most likely outgoing and friendly and, and it's in your DNA to let people know what you do, most likely you'll end up telling that person at the local restaurant what you do. You'll most likely hand them a business card and you'll most likely connect with them on social media. And it's going to be here first. So it's not going to be, hey, connect with me on Twitter. It's not going to be, hey, connect with me on Pinterest. It's going to be, hey, connect with me on Facebook. Let's become yeah. friends, right? 
So right. the example that I'm giving you is the two types of people. Now, the 2134 that you have, you have a handful that, you're, that are your family. You have a handful that are, your, that are your actual real friends. But when you take that number from 2100 and you scale it up to 4100, those, are, those, those next 2,000, 3,000 people are all going to consist of those two types of people, either a total stranger that I met locally that I've never met before or a total stranger like myself who you never met before. That's right. how that number scales up. Those are the two types of people because I doubt you're going to have any, you know, hardcore real friends from high school. Maybe, 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 but it's not going to be a, a lot. Like that number is going to scale up because of new friends that you meet. But here's yeah. my point. Here's my point. As you connect with new friends and as you, as you take that 2100 up, that 2100 light, I mean, friend count up, because you're in business, there's information in this intro that you absolutely must show us right away. And again, okay. I see it by the thousands. I see it by the thousands where I'll come to someone's page and everything is missing. And the only reason why I call this step one, and this is part of your branding, these five basic steps that I'm going to show you real quick, it has everything to do with your social media brand and capturing leads. That's it. Like these are these five basic steps. And okay. again, the, the likes, setting, setting an invite to everybody, that's step two. And we'll get there. But here's, here again, here's step one. As people come to this page for the first time, obviously your image is the first impression. Like I can look at these images and be like, dang, cool chick, smart, professional, family woman. Like I can, I can tell a lot from images alone. But again, because we're building a business, there's information that's missing in this intro. That's critical. Okay, super critical. So here's what you want to do. As I come to Jess's page, and this is what she's showing me in her intro, realtor, studied, lives. I come across Jessica's page. That's what she's showing me. I come across Candy's page and this is what she's showing me. So right away, she's showing me a link to her business page, not her oh, broker. Okay. Right? Because here's the deal. As you take that 2100 up, the majority of them hopefully are average people, working class people, people who are not in the business. They're not title reps. They're not escrow officers. They're not realtors. You may have a ton of realtors there, but as you take it higher, hopefully it's just normal people. These are people that you could probably do deals with, maybe, maybe, maybe help sell a house, maybe help buy a house. Average people, as you take that 2100 up, the average person who is not in the business does not know this is not your business page. They're thinking it is. They're clicking like, and God only knows how many of the 2100 who is not in the business liked Coldwell's page when it does you absolutely no good. Right. But we're liking it because we're thinking we're supporting you. We're liking it because we're thinking it's your page. We're liking it because it's listed. And it's the first thing I see, right? So yeah. that needs okay. to change. And that's a simple right. thing. Like I'm telling yeah. you, this is, this is basic as it gets. But, uh, but, but again, everyone misses it. And so again, right when I look at Candy's page, She's showing me a link straight to her business page. She's not directing me to her broker at all, nor, you know, and, 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 and that's something you don't want to do. But, but at the same time, when you look lower, when you look a little closer, what else is she showing me? She's showing me her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her website address. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look that close, Every single one of them is identical. Has a link. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's a link. Yeah, for sure. I can click on it and automatically. Yeah, you click, automatically. but they're all the same. Gotcha. They're all the same. Yeah. They're all I the same. Yeah. Basic branding. Basic branding. So just like offline, branding in real estate is everything. Your face is on your business card, most likely. Your face yeah. is, on, is on your decal if you have one on your car. Your face is on that for sale sign. Like your face and your name is on everything. On social media, this is right here, our brand. Just simply linking everything, but making everything identical. So gotcha. when I go and look okay. at Jessica, I see Jessica everywhere. One name, I type in that one name in any platform and I'm going to find it. Right? So it's just, okay. this is what I call step one. And I just, I just believe it's important because your brand is important. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Right? And so not only am I going to see it there, but as I come over here and click about, because here's the thing also. As you take this 2100 number up, the majority of them are not going to know you. Like they're just mm -hmm. not. 90 plus percent of that number doesn't know you. Like the same way, like you and I are friends on Facebook, but the same way you're on this call wondering who the hell I am, I'm yeah. on this call wondering who the hell you are. 
Right. Not either. So, so and, and this applies for every platform, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter. As we take these friend counts up, these people are not going to know us. And so it's very important that I give them the right information right away the moment they come to my page. And most likely it's going to be Facebook where they come first. Right. So, so not only do I see it there in the intro, but as I click about, because people are going to click about to see who the heck Jessica is, they're going to click about. And not only do I see it in the intro, but I'm also going to see it right here when I click on contact and basic info. So I'm going to see hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. And again, every single one of them is a clickable link. So all I got to do is click on it and right away yeah. for Instagram. You know, so, so not only is it important to have it on the personal page, but it's also important to have it on the business page. So let me, let me pull up your business page really quick. What's your, what's your business page? Uh, Jessica Forte real estate. I believe, I think I, I was just going to change the title. Let me, um, let me see if I can pull it up. I think it's linked in my, I think it's linked on my, um, my page. Like yeah, it that. should be. It should be, um, like, uh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah. See, so this link should Let's be over there. here. Yeah. yeah, that should be over here. Now, if I click about, and if I click on work and education, it would show right here as well. So again, okay. you're showing cold well, wells. Okay. We want to switch that one out. Yeah. Okay. So we don't want anyone. And, and, if, and if it's, if, I mean, different states are, you know, have different laws where, you know, some states, they require you show your broker. That's for the business page. So you can, you can blast okay. Coldwell all you want on your business page. Yeah, but on your I don't personal care about page, Coldwell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But on your personal page, it's like, man, direct all your friends to your page, not theirs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. So, so again, in the intro is where is where everything would be right here when they come to your your personal page but then also when we come to the business page and i come over here and if i click more if i click about and i want to know who the heck jessica is this is where i would see all your links as well so i'm okay. seeing your dot com i'm seeing your email but right here as i scroll lower right where it says more info I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, because here's the deal. The reason why this is important and the reason why I called step one is because where we're at today, it's all about social media. Yeah. Where we're at today, people are going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. Like the yeah. only time a person would ever call you if some random guy is trying to stalk you, maybe they'll, yeah. maybe they'll call you and try <laughs> to you know, hit you up. But a random person will message you here. You and I, we messaged on Facebook. We got on this call because of a message on Facebook. And I don't even know your phone number. Yeah. Right. Until now, until I'm looking at it. Right. But, but prior to that, your phone number had nothing to do with it. So I would take your phone number off of everything. I would make people message you on social media first to make sure they're serious. And then they'll get my phone number. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause you don't want any random yeah. people just hitting. I've you had up. that twice. Oh, of course. You're, you're a chick. You're going to have people yeah. want to call you, right? Like, and, 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 and call you for the wrong reasons is what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Yeah. So, so take the number off. Let's put our social media platforms. Like for example, with candy, I come to her business page and let me click on about. So if I come to her business page, I'll click on, I'll click on, actually, you know what? I don't even have to click on anything. They're all right here. So, so look, this is her business page. And so because yours aren't listed, let me go back to your, to the, to the home part of your business page. So because yours are not listed, they're not. So, so with the business page, the new format of the business page, it actually shows right away here on the, the first thing. So right here in the about, as I come to the business page right away, it would be in this section. So look, I come to Candy's page. Here's the home. Here's her business page. I scroll down and there's everything right in front of my face. Twitter, oh, nice. Instagram, yeah. LinkedIn, Pinterest, her email, her website. And again, from the website to the email to all of her platforms, everything is one identical name. So just like you did over here for your business page, you actually did customize. So great job on the business page. You did customize the handle or the username, whatever you want to call it. You did do it for, for Facebook. So that's great. You want to do the same thing all right. for all the other platforms. All right. And, and, and if you don't have that .com, you want to actually, yeah, see, look, your .com is different. 
So we need to choose one name for everything. Either we're going to okay, go with Jay yeah. Forte Holmes or we're going to go with Jessica Forte Realtor. We're going to go with one of them, but pick one. Okay. Okay. Right. That makes so sense. so yeah. if you if you already have the dot com, maybe 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 use that Jay Forte Holmes. Yeah, I everything. have that. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So okay, so I changed that. Yeah. Yeah. So so you want everything to be listed right here. Um and, and you'll be able to do that once you click on edit and you can just add all the links once you get all the links customized. Okay. So, okay. so that's step one, that's step one, because here's the deal. As you connect with people, again, whether it's a total stranger that you met at a local restaurant that happens to live in that area, but you've never met them before, or it's a total stranger like myself who you're connected with virtual either, either one, just because we connected on Facebook, how does Jessica know that I don't spend 57 hours a day on LinkedIn? Right. Right. Had I had, 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 had I known you were on LinkedIn, I would have clicked on your link. I would have followed you there. And because I'm on LinkedIn all damn day and because I'm comfortable messaging on LinkedIn, I would have messaged you there. And if it was regarding real estate, you better hope you get that message. And that would have been on LinkedIn yeah. only because I connected with you first on Facebook and I noticed your link. Okay. Yeah. Cause I right? have that. I mean, I haven't, I haven't done LinkedIn for years, but that makes total sense. You know, and, and here's the deal also here's, let me, let me throw this out there as well. What I'm telling you is for branding purposes and to make sure that people see one name and one name only, but I'm not saying you need a post or know anything about these right. platforms. In fact, I'm going to tell you not to be posting all the time on these platforms. Cause I'll show you exactly what to do instead. But the whole purpose is just to have them listed and make our brand stand out. And, and, and the thing is also is that if, if you're going to be branding J Forte homes, you better hope someone doesn't have that name on Twitter, right? right. Like you don't okay. want, yeah. that's why it's so important to lock every name because you'll be, it's, I, I've spoken to countless realtors where they'll come over here to their, to their business page and they'll customize the business page on Facebook, but the moment they go and register the dot com, it's taken. Okay, yeah. So it's like, dude, I don't want no one using my name. I want to make sure it's locked on every platform. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So so that's another reason why it's so important is you don't want no one having that name. You know, so so lock it on all these platforms and again list it so your brand pops and it looks good. You okay. know so that's that's step one. That's step one. Here's step two. So just like over here in the intro on the personal page, people see it right away. That is somewhat the first impression looking at your images, but then also the intro it's right in front of my face. Like I see the intro before I even scroll down to see the full first recent post. Yeah. Right. Before I even see the full recent post, I see the intro first. So that's why I call that somewhat a first impression when it comes to the business page. I scroll down just a bit. This like count is the first impression because no one knows you as you take that 2100 number up, no one's going to know you because no one knows you. We tend to prejudge on that number. Right. So Jessica could be 15 years in the industry. She could be a top producer. She could be the number one agent in her entire state. But when we, when we look at 396, it's still considered a low number and it's hard to believe that. Yeah. Right. So I come to Jessica's page. I see 396. I come to Candy's page. I see 3,500. Oh, shit. I don't know Candy. I don't know Jessica. But, but I see 3,500. And I'm like, holy shit. Maybe she's the queen of real estate. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. I should be following her. Right. And it's a stupid yeah. number. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It's a stupid number. No one knows anyone. For all I know, she's a brand new agent. And Jessica has been doing this for 15 years for all yeah. I know. <laughs> But we see a stupid number and we automatically prejudge. But at the same time, that's credibility and that's social media. People are going to judge on something and give them a big number to judge on. Right. So, so countless agents, because I have 5,000 agents, every single agent sends me an invite. And when I go look at a business page, 99.999%. And this is since 2016. And at this point, I've seen thousands of pages, real estate agent, Facebook pages since 2016, 99.99999% are around a few hundred. 
So all you need to do to really stand out and really give that first impression is to take it to a few thousand. That's it. It's not like you need 10,000. You just need a few thousand. Like Candy, she took it to a few thousand. Yeah, like 3, that's, 000, yeah. that's not an ad. And, and, and so the way you do that is you run a Facebook ad. Yeah. But it's not a Facebook ad that you have to run all the time. Like it's a, you run the ad one time, take it up a few thousand, turn it off, and that's it. That's step two. So when I come to your page, I see a few thousand and automatically the perception, I'm impressed. And I don't even know you yet. Right? So that yeah. number holds a lot of weight. Every agent has 300 likes. I need you at at least 3,000. Gotcha. Yeah. That's it. That's step two. Okay. So here's step three. Again, I see it by the thousands. Every single agent will come on a social media and post the open house, post their listing, or just talk about their business in general. Here's the reality. As I mentioned about this friend count, and it's the same on all of these platforms, it does not matter. As you scale your friend count up, as you scale your followers on Instagram up, as you scale up your LinkedIn connections and you go from 3,000 to 13,000 connections on LinkedIn, it does not matter. The reality is, is that 90 plus percent of all of these followers will not live in your area. They won't even live in your state. You're yeah. in Florida. I'm in California. Yeah. So, so we're over here inviting these people when the majority of them don't even live in Florida. We're inviting these people to like our business page. So, so when we start posting open houses, you're going to have very few people engage. Gotcha. Yeah. And the only reason is because no one's in that area. We're inviting the wrong people. Yeah. So, so here's step three. Rather than posting on any of these platforms, when the majority of the people don't even live in the area, step three is when you, is when you want to start running Facebook ads targeting your farm. So whatever area you're doing business and you guys are doing deals, whatever zip code that is, whatever city that is, those are the only people that should be seeing you in their newsfeed on Facebook. Those are the only people. Those are the only people. I want to target my local area. Wherever I'm doing deals, those people are going to keep seeing me in their, on their, in their Facebook newsfeed, not random people that live in California. Now, you, you, you can help anyone. Any, people relocate every day. Tons of people are moving to Florida. I get it. But your ideal client is there in your backyard. Like your dream listing is down the street, right? Like your dream listing is not in California. Yeah. <laughs> Right, So it's like we need to start getting the attention of our local area where we're doing business. And the only way that's going to happen is through a Facebook ad. Okay. So if this was my post, if this was my open house, here's how it would have looked. Let me go to the news feed and let me just show you like a random ad. Here's what Facebook ads look like. So as people are scrolling through their news feed, whether they're on a computer, whether they're on a cell phone, whatever. As I'm scrolling through, just seeing what my friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad. Let's see if we can find a sponsored ad. There's sponsored ad right here. Perfect. So anytime you see the word sponsored, that's a Facebook ad. Okay. So here's a perfect example. Here's the text. Here's the video. Here's the learn more button. So imagine if this guy was a real estate agent. I'm not friends with him on Facebook. I don't like his business page, but he's a local real estate agent. He's targeting me because I'm local. He's targeting me because that's where the, where the listing is at. He's targeting me because this is where the open house is at. So imagine here's the text, here's the video or the image of the open house, and here's the learn more button. So I would, I would be seeing this as a Facebook ad targeting a local audience. When I click on learn more, here's where you're taking me. You're taking me to one simple page like this. And now this is what I call, so step three is a Facebook ad. Step four is when I click on learn more, when I click on that ad, you're taking me to one single web page. This is what I call step four. It's what I call a landing page. Okay. So, so if you were running this open house as a Facebook ad targeting that local area, you would have a learn more button just like this. When they click on learn more, they're coming to one page similar to this. And this is just a, a basic template. Like you can change the image, the text, all that. Right. Stuff. 
but it's a basic example, a template. Open house, Saturday and Sunday. There's two other homes for sale in this neighborhood. Come check them out. The address, a few bullet points, and one single button. That's all it is. It's not a website. There's not a ton of buttons to click on at all. It's one yellow button. They click on that one button. They enter their name and email. That's how you capture a lead. Okay. So what every agent is doing is posting these types of posts all over yeah. social media when no one cares. You right. have to target St. Pete. You have to target that area. Everyone in that entire city needs to know about this open house. And, and when they see that ad in their newsfeed, they click learn more. You want to bring them to one page. So step four is, is this. This is what I call step four, a landing page. Here's step five, and that's all I got for you. When they come to this page and they click on that button and they enter their name and email because they're interested in this open house coming up this weekend, this is now what I call step five. They enter their name and email. They click on that yellow button. Automatically, an email goes out. Step five is what I call email automation. Jessica has no time to be physically emailing these people as they're commenting on her post or sending her a direct message. This needs to be automated. So from the moment I'm running this as a Facebook ad, it's running 24-7, targeting St. Pete while I'm sleeping. To the moment they're clicking learn more and coming to this one page to enter their name and email while I'm having lunch with my family. Step well, five is that email is going out. So here's what happens. That person enters their name and email. They click the yellow button. Now it's step five. Automatically, an email goes out on your behalf. Hey, Dave, this is Jessica. Thank you so much for inquiring about my open house coming up this weekend. Hey, you're, we are super fired up. Let me tell you a few things to expect, and I want you to bring your entire family. You're not going to want to miss out. That's an email that would have automatically went out. The next day, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Jess. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you inquired about our open house. Let me tell you a few things that we're excited about, and let me tell you a few things that you're going to want to prepare for ahead of time. And so as we lead up to the open house, there's an email that's going out every day, getting that person fired up. That's automated. Those emails are automated. That's what I call step five. So whether you were, whether that person saw that open house from an ad or whether it was a listing, let's say it wasn't an open house. It was just a random listing. Same strategy applies. I'm running that Facebook ad to St. Pete. They're clicking learn more. It's a listing. They're coming here, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. A few bullet points, they click on one button, they enter their name and email, send me the details. <laughs> automatically, again, step five, email automation, automatically that email triggers. Hey Dave, this is Jessica. Thank you so much for inquiring on my listing, 777 Plaza Boulevard. I'd like to introduce myself and give you a few more details about this property. I'm super fired up, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And again, these are automated emails. Tomorrow, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, this is Jess. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, last night we had five families come by to take a look at this property. One of them is going to put it under contract. You're not going to want to miss out. If you want to take a look at this, pro of this, uh, at this property and, and schedule your private showing, click the link and schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. So no matter okay. what it is, whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, whatever, the strategy is to run it as a Facebook ad and target St. Pete to drive them to one page to capture the lead. Okay. Yeah. Cause my brother, he was, he, he's in mortgage and he was running a few um, Facebook ads and he would run them um, for me and they'd go to him and he'd like send them over my way. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I tried to, and of course it's my brother. He won't schedule a time to like show me or whatever, Yeah. but I just um, signed up for lion desk. I'm doing like a free awesome. thing. And it says, I just was poking around yesterday and it says it'll show you and it'll do it, the ad through there that'll go right to line desk and send out the auto emails. Super. Per that's powerful. Perfect. All you need line desk to do is, is you need, you need to find out if it has a landing page and, okay. and it sounds like it does have the email autoresponder, which is your drip system. So if it has that, that's yeah. fine. What you want to find out is if, if, if you have landing pages with it, that's what you want to find okay. out. Yeah, Cause cause this, I was this right here is a landing page. It. Yeah. Okay. Simple perfect. landing page. But, but the whole strategy, again, is just to keep running local ads rather than posting all over social media, narrow it in and focus on taking over St. Pete. That's okay. it. Like if, if that's where you're farming, you know what I mean? Wherever yeah, you're farming, uh -huh. 
that's the area you need to be targeting. Everyone and their mother in that local area needs to be seeing your post. And the only way they're going to do it is through a Facebook ad. Okay. So, so, so some, and, and so my whole step three is all about running an ad every week, which is technically every day, but yeah. you're not always going to have a listing. You may not always have an open house. So what you want to start doing is running weekly ads, giving away, what, what are you focused on? Are you focused on buyers or sellers? Well, buyers, I'm moving into sellers. Like I okay. just went solo, you know, at the beginning of the year, I just awesome. left a team. Yeah. Okay. What you want to start doing, because again, you're not always going to have an open house. You're not right. always going to have a listing. The strategy, step three, is to run a weekly ad. But what happens if I don't have a listing or don't have an open house? What you want to start doing is running weekly ads, give, giving away a seller guide. Okay. So if you can give away a seller guide, hey, and, and I don't know if you're doing video. Are you doing video at all? Not yet. If you okay. can start getting comfortable with video, Jess, you're going to crush it. Like you're going to crush well, it. Like you got to put yeah. yourself out on video. You have yeah. to. And it's not for all of social media to see. It's only for St. Pete because you're running it right. as an ad. So, so you'd be running a video to St. Pete, educating people on the process of selling and giving, the, giving away a free download for your seller guide. So when they start seeing your Facebook ads, and you're educating people. Look, this could easily be a real estate agent. He could yeah. easily be giving me two minutes and he could easily be giving me tips on what it takes to sell. And when I click on learn more, he's taking me, when I click on learn more, this is where you'd be taking people to a page similar to this one. So again, I showed you the seller, I, I showed you the listing, I showed you the open house page. But again, you're not always gonna have that you want to focus on giving away a seller guide. Okay. So again, this agent over here, let's say he's talking about selling. There's learn more. We click on it. I come to the one page where I can download his seller guide. So okay. they click learn more, download your free step-by-step -step guide to selling your home fast. I'll walk you through the process and explain how we customize our plan to fit you. They click that one button and they download your seller guide. That's a, a lead. There ain't no one in the freaking world that's going to download this if they're not interested in selling. Right. At all. Like, why in the hell do I need your yeah. seller guide if I don't even own a home? Yeah, exactly. Right? right? So yeah. the whole goal is to run Facebook ads every week, educating people on selling. And, and I recommend doing it via video. Simple video you can do on your cell phone. Hey, guys, this is Jessica. Just wanted to give you a couple tips today on increasing the value. I know a ton of folks are going to be selling this year and I'm getting calls all day from clients wondering what they can do to the property to really increase the value and really get them, you know, the best chance of selling. Here's what I want to share with you guys. And by the way, guys, I also put together a free PDF. So if you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. Okay. So every cool. week you're doing a simple video on your cell phone targeting St. Pete, getting them to download your seller guide. And as leads come into your funnel, into your, your lion's desk, they're now receiving emails on your behalf regarding the process of selling. Okay, nice. That's, yeah, because I, yeah, I think the Lion Desk has video opportunities to it yes. too. And I did sign up. I do have like the lighter side of real estate, which I Good. haven't explored, but they have a land. I know they have a landing page and guides like awesome. seller buyer guides and stuff that I haven't figured out yet, but I just, yeah. Perfect. So um, yeah. All right. Perfect. So, cool. so that, that, that's kind of what I got for you. So in, in just to recap, step one is listing all those links. Yes. Step the intro, two, yeah. Yeah. Step two is taking your light count up with a, with a simple like Facebook so. ad. And yeah. then step three is when you start running Facebook ads, targeting St. Pete. And then step four is that landing page. And then step five is your email autoresponder. Awesome. That right there, I'm telling you, Jessica, if you can, if you could focus on that rather than having a post on all these platforms, you would take over St. Pete and be the number one agent in that town, which is, cool. which is what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. You know, awesome. you know, so yeah. have you run a Facebook ad recently? Like, have you run a like ad? No, that's what, yeah, I, I haven't. No, okay. I just ran my first ad. Um, Good. And I was just testing it out. I wasn't even quite sure how it worked or what. The, the like ad is a little different because the like ad, you're not going to target Tampa. You're not going to target St. Pete. You're not going to target your local area. The like ad, 
you have to target everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership because the only objective is to get a few thousand likes real quick and then shut it off. After that, okay. you go on to step three and you start running local ads targeting St. Pete for lead capture. The likes are likes, not leads. So, okay. so but it's so important because when I come here, I want to see a comma. I want to see a bigger number, right? That's, that's the whole purpose of running it first before you start running weekly ads to St. Pete. You want that number okay. to be big. So when, people, yeah. Yeah. so when people in St. Pete start seeing your ad and they start seeing your page, there's a comma in that number. Okay. That you know, that's why, so, yeah. you know, like yeah. over here on my page, like this is my personal page. Like there's my step one. So here are all my links. Everything is identical. And then when you click on my business page and you come and you click on the link right here at the top and it brings you over here to my business page, here's my business page. Let me, um, let me scroll down over here. Okay. So here's, let me view as a visitor. Okay. Perfect. So you come to my business page and then you scroll down just a bit and then here are all of my links. Everything is one name, but at the same time, here's the first thing you see. Look, my like count. Yeah. So Jeez Louise. see, look at that. Jeez Louise. Look at that. Like, <laughs> there, there was a motion and that's all from one number. You don't even know me. Yeah. It's all because of a stupid number. You're like, damn, okay. This guy must know something about something. Right? Yeah, like, exactly. When it's yeah. like, dude, all you, for all you know, I could have just started this stuff last week. Yeah. But because I ran a Facebook ad, I took my number up because I know no one knows me, but if they look at my page, there's credibility. Yeah. And, and, and it's not even looking at my page. It's looking at the stupid number. Right. That's what people oh, wow, need to yeah. see when they land on yours. Like when they land on yours, sense. it's like, dude, yeah. show me a bigger number and, and make me get my attention. And that, and that's the attention getter is that like count. So okay. if anything, so, so here's what I can say in closing step three, that's the weekly ad. Step four is your landing page. Step five is your email automation from step four. I mean, from step three, four, and five, that might take you some time to kind of put all together what you should do like today, like your homework, like for the next couple of days should be step one, linking everything. And then step two, running that like number, right? Running that like count, running that. Okay, like ad. Yeah. That's where you should start. So if you haven't ran that ad, or if you haven't run a like ad, I mean, it, it, you, you might, it might take you way longer than you need to. It might cost you more than you need to be spending. So if anything, like I can easily run that ad for you. Like you just pay for it. Like you just tell me whatever your budget is, five bucks a day, like whatever, like, I can easily run it for you. And all I will ask in return is a good review from you on my business page. Okay, like I can, cool. I, I can easily awesome. do that for you. So it just, it just comes down to how you, how high you want to go. You, it just, you don't have to go that, that high. I mean, Candy, she went up a few thousand, like you don't necessarily need, need to even go that high. Like you can, if you want, but you don't need to, there just needs to be a comma in that number. Like, like, okay, you know, perfect. As soon as possible. Yeah. So, it just comes okay. down to your, it comes down to your budget, really. Like, what's our budget? Like, what can we, for one Facebook ad, let's just call it for one month, like just one month, like not running it every month, just one month, one ad. Like, what can we put towards this like, like ad? What do you think is like, like, uh, what, I mean, what does it take? I mean, yeah, what do you, well, what's a reasonable? It, it's all about, like takes. Facebook, the way they charge, it's all about a daily budget. So Facebook, they'll start at five bucks a day. Like most, most people right. run ads at five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day. Candy, in her case, she ran it for 10 bucks a day for a month. So she, so she, budgeted, thir she budgeted 300 for this one ad okay. and, and it took her from 200 to 3,500. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So you can go okay. 10 bucks a day. You can go five bucks a day. It's, it's, it's totally up to you, but I mean, it's, All right, cool. it's, it's uh, whatever your budget yeah. you know, allows. Awesome. Yeah. Can I send it to you? Um, I'll tell you, I'm going to just think about it or whatnot. Cause I'm going to run I'm, like in front of another house right now. Yes, uh, for sure. But I definitely would like to do that. And then you want me to set up my links and stuff first. And then I have a video that I can send you. Like I have a YouTube channel, so I have a video that I can send you to, to help you with links all the step one okay but then all i gotta do on my end is run the facebook ad and i can start the ad tonight so okay perfect just, i just need to know the budget like what's our budget yeah. and i just need a card whatever card i can post it on okay perfect yeah well let me run into this inspection and then i'm headed back to my house and i'll shoot you a message and perfect. Then we get it all set squared sounds away. good message me and then i'll connect myself to your page and start the ad tonight 
Awesome. All right, cool, Chris. Jess. Thanks, David. Yeah, You're I'll so, so welcome. Message awesome. me later. Thank awesome. You. I will. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.